up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. I will go where I wish. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. These fugitives tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What happened to your brother exactly? An oil bear. It had him on the ground before we had a chance to react. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Forget the owl bear. You're still alive, so go. Well, and, and just leave Ed. I suppose, I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. move of their own accord. There's something of value here, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Dripping. Well, 
unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Bear prey, no doubt. Hmm. Saluna statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Just an old prayer. Chests are locked. My prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it, if possible. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Why do you care so much? should have stayed quiet. You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. I don't care who you worship. We have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Thank you for telling me, at least. Don't thank me. I'm breaking Lady Shah's teachings just by doing so. But sometimes you have to be practical. Feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. 
It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. An empty Mind Flayer vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Lozelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft. Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. So, you and Lazel. Seems turned. Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Mm. You fight well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> what a waste. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarion? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast. Of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Shadow. Such a grim name for such a beautiful. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name, Scratch. You're all right, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Come on, Scratch. Follow me. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The 
The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. You should probably get that looked at. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. He let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. I'm guessing that didn't end well. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You threatening me? You are the one making threats. To a child. Pull yourself together. All at once. You won't be so lucky. Get out of the way. Gods, don't bleed over the thing. It's just tin and glass. Here, take it. Not sure why you care so much about it, honestly. Scrap! Before I give you something to care about. Kids lucky you were here. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. You could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Seems Mole was as good as her word. She's reported that you've been threatening children. I explore the secrets of the universe. I don't have time to threaten children. An unorthodox defense, but one that seems to have worked. You're free to go.
farther can I go? I should speak up. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil's servant. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? A mind flayer abducted me, and its ship went straight to Avernus. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. You peer through the telescope. You recognize the dragon as the mount of a Githyanki knight. Perhaps it had been tracking the ship. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. Care for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Taking life always has a cost. You have to feel it, or you'll lose who you are. I had the same thought, and it's just going to keep happening. Don't touch me. Don't linger. Get out! The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. Calm down, I'm a friend. You barged in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friend. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. There's plenty of room for both of us. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. I'll even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. You can keep it, but these trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. 
Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck, but since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat too. Interested? This is no magic ring. The runes are gibberish. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. This sounds like a scam. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Anyone could see this was a modified War Widow scam. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because... Oh, damn. Take your ring. I don't have time for this. Come back any time. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So what's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard? So don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, Let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give her a chance. You, get back! I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social order or behavior. I'll give you an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A mythweaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! 
Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Wait. About our conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. I want to have a word. Mm -hmm. I'm Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? It's slidey off. Push it a bit to the right. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's it. By Sylvanas, the Forest Father, we are granted balance. Speak. I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I help defend the grove. I'm not your enemy. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees and we will be safe. Sounds like she has to be stopped. How would we do that? A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. What happened to Hulsin? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Hulsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing. But he never returned. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. <sighs> I thought you were Halsin. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Halsin? Promise me a mate! Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. 
House Sim is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. You have proven your authority. Now, prove your mercy. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Let me guess. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Best if we just get the subject out of the way now. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Why would Shar subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I want to talk about your Shar worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. I have no problems with Shar worshippers, if that's what concerns you. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Law. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please, continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimation? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. 
I want to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secret. What more can you ask? Tell me something about yourself besides Char, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Really? You've flown between the planes of existence, but you've never been swimming? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. Anything else you'd like to share? No. I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed. Voluntarily. So that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. You've had your memories suppressed? That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed.